On your home team crime watch, a Buell man is out on bond after authorities say he claimed to be a sheriff's deputy after a wreck on the interstate. WVUA's Jennifer Edwards has that story. My impression was I need to get the road opened up, you know, and so that's, that's what I was trying to do. I thought he was getting a gun, but he got a badge. Dwayne's towing driver, to Tommy Kazaya, says he was just trying to do his job Tuesday morning and get to the scene of the 18-wheeler wreck on Interstate 2059 when he was stopped by another driver. I come up to show the road, and Mr. Kaiser has cut me off and flashed a badge at me, and then he chased me half a mile on the shoulder until we got the state troopers off our car. As if this situation wasn't strange enough, once on the scene, Kaziah says it got worse. 46-year-old James Kaiser was claiming to be a Tuscaloosa County Sheriff's deputy. Told me I disrespected his badge. Told the officer he wanted to have me locked up and uh, told us that he wanted to write me tickets because I disrespected his badge. Tuscaloosa Police Lieutenant Brad Mason says their department got involved directly after the incident. And upon further investigation, Mason says they learned Kaiser was not an officer. He says this is a crime they take very seriously. Obviously, we want people to react appropriately when they see the police and not question the authority of the person that's, that's saying they're a police officer. And so when we get cases like this, we do take them seriously. You know, as does the judicial system. Kaiser was arrested and charged with impersonating a peace officer and reckless endangerment. In Tuscaloosa, Jennifer Edwards, WVUA News. And Mason says impersonating a peace officer is a Class C felony that can carry a one-year sentence or longer in state prison. Kaiser was released on a $21,000 bond.